Want to hear some crazy stories regarding my time working in food service? Of course you do! What kind of stories you say? Well, watch and find out. If you like what I do, consider subscribing and follow me on Instagram for all the updates. I used to work many jobs. One was a kettle corn stand at a local farmer's market. I would help set up with another person and we'd make the kettle corn and sell it. The owner would be present at first, but would then leave and not come back till near closing time. He'd walk around all over the place. One day my coworker says, So I was thinking that we should make a batch of kettle corn, bag it, and sell it to people ourselves and keep the money. Then we'll make another batch and prepare it before the owner comes back. He wanted to pocket the money. I told him, No, I, I think I'll just keep to myself, thanks. He continues to try and pressure me into it, and I just tell him no. So he ends up doing it himself. He makes the kettle corn, he bags it, and sells it. At first, I don't get involved because this was the only job I was able to get at the time. I didn't want to jeopardize it. I was dealing with a dysfunctional household, and I was trying to make money to get away from it. He, over the next few times, began stepping it up and making more batches and goes to taking money out from the register. He said, hmm, I think I need $20, and just takes it out of the register and leaves. So one day, I arrive and someone else is doing my job. I ask the owner, who is this? And he just says my co-worker brought him. So I work alongside these two other people for this day. The following time I go, and and that guy's there again. I tell my boss, I'm your employee, not that guy. And he said he doesn't need me today to just go home. He only needs two guys, not three. The following time, I get a text saying he doesn't need me again and to not come into work. I realized that my coworker had convinced my boss to have that guy there do my job instead of me. His friend would work with my coworker on their scheme to steal money and sell kettle corn and pocket the money. I told my boss what they had been doing and that they had been taking money while he was gone and making batches of kettle corn and selling it without him knowing. So you know what happens next? Then he gets mad at me and he tells me that I have been stealing money from him. I, I, I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe what I was hearing. I explained to him exactly what had happened and how my coworker had told me directly his plans of what he wanted to do and how he wanted to get me involved. And I told him no. And so when I told him no, that's when he got his friend there. So I told him everything and he didn't believe me. And then he fired me. I, I, I don't know. I still can't believe it. So after all that, whenever I passed by the farmer's market, he wouldn't leave the stand at all. And a little bit afterwards, he fired my coworker and his friends. They weren't there anymore. I guess he realized what was really going on. It was a crap job anyways. So it was probably for the better that I'm not there anymore. After that, I tried to focus on making music and videos while looking for other work. But... <sighs> It's still crazy. I still can't believe it. What happened? How everything went down? But oh well. I don't need them anymore, anyways. Well, that's it for today. But I got many more stories. If you want me to make more story time videos, let me know in the comments below. I'm curious to know what you think. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you at the next video. Take care.